Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be interfacing a Raspberry Pi camera to a Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. The components required are pretty simple. We just need a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi camera. To connect the camera, open up the latch in the camera interface of the Raspberry Pi. Now, insert the camera's ribbon cable into the interface in the Raspberry Pi. Now tighten up the latch. I'll be showing a close-up view of this. Once we are done with this, we can move to the next step. Now boot into your Raspberry Pi and open the terminal. We need to install a library known as uh, PyMySQL before we can proceed. So to do that, run the command pip install PyMySQL. And since I have already installed this library, it shows as requirement already satisfied. But you have to install this library before moving on to the next part. Before we can use the Raspberry Pi camera, we have to enable it. To do that, type the command sudo raspi-config. Now navigate to interfaces, hit enter and uh, select the option camera and hit enter and now we can enable it. Now once we have enabled the camera, we can move on with the coding part. So first up we are opening up a python editor over here. And uh, these three lines are, these four lines are used to import the essential libraries. To store the image, we need to create a folder in the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have created a, a folder in the desktop na named as image underscore sql, you can see it over here. So you can create it anywhere in the Raspberry Pi and you can use this command to move the uh, code to that particular uh, working directory. Then we need to enter the parameters for the database over here. I will be showing how to create a database uh, after we are done with this code. Next we have a while loop which runs infinitely and uh, it uses try and exception blocks over here. So what it does is when the Raspberry Pi is unable to take the image, instead of throwing the error, it just moves on to the exception part. Now uh, we are using this os.system. What os.system does is, it runs this particular command in the terminal of the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry still is a terminal command which can be used to take images from the Raspberry Pi's camera. And this particular line runs this command in the terminal and the image is stored in the present working directory that is the uh, folder named image sql. The database is using a data uh, type called uh, blob that is binary large object. So we need to open the image as a binary file. So we are using the uh, uh, format uh, rb over here. This is the sql command which when executed will uh, update the image in the uh, table named camera where the serial number is 1. Essentially what we are doing is replacing a particular cell in the database infinitely and the time period is 2 seconds. We are using the try and exception block over here to execute the SQL. So cursor.execute executes the SQL line which we have uh, mentioned over here and binary is the file so this gets replaced in the percentage s over here and it will uh, commit to the database and prints sql return if it is successful and in case we do uh, we have some uh, connection error with the uh, database it goes to the exception part and prints sql update fail for the image and time.sleep uh, next he uh, pauses the program for two seconds now we have to create a database uh, we are using this remote mysql site, it's a free uh, database site, so you can uh, create an account in this site and you can go to databases, then you have to hit create new database. So once that's done, you can see the username, the database name and the password over here. So you can uh, go to actions and click php my admin. Then you can copy the username and the database password. We need to create a table. We can name the table as camera with two rows and click go 
Now we can uh, the name as uh, serial number and the second one as image. The serial number is of type int and image is of type binary large object. So we have to choose a long blob and yeah that's it we can click save. So you can access the database from here and we can insert a first object so that so what we are doing is essentially uh, replacing the serial number one so to do that we can insert an image uh, I mean uh, entry in the table so the value is one and you can choose any uh, uh, binary file it can be any random binary image you can select that and click go you can uh, convert an image into a binary file in, uh, in the internet so we are done over here we have an image over here in the remote SQL site you can see the username database name and the password and the server name you can copy these details and enter it in the code okay I've entered all the details over here this is the host name this is the username this is the password and this is the uh, database name and also kindly note that we have to import MySQL DB after this line line number six only then it will work because we are installing uh, the mysql db over here only uh, so we have to import the line after this so then we can simply run the code you can see the image is written over here and the line sql return is printed so that so this means that our image has been sent to the database Now to view the image what we can do is download this binary uh, large object and we have different sites so we can use binary to png We have different sites to convert binary to or jpj back so we can upload the image to this site and it converts and you can see that it has been finished and you can download the image. You can see the image has been downloaded and this is what exactly what we have the Pi camera has captured. So this is how you essentially use the Raspberry Pi to upload images to the database. Thanks for watching.